So I thought I'd make you a video about how to use the TI-84 calculator to do financial mathematics. So I'll do a series of them. And this first one, I'm just gonna look at using it for compound interest. So I made two quick examples. The first one I have, um, P is 5,000. We have a rate of 2.5% um, compounded monthly, which is 12 over six years. So to have the TI-84 do it for us, um, I go to this thing that says APPS, A-P-P-S. So your colors might be different on your calculator, but it always works the same way, like the location. So this is the second column and then the third entry down. So I hit APPS. You might have more APPS. Um, this one only has four, but the first one is finance. So you're going to push enter. So it's APPS, enter, and then just enter one more time. It says TVM solver, that's time value money, and that's all we'll need to use. So I'm going to push enter. This takes us to a screen um, that just has a lot of information that we're going to plug in. So notice the first thing is a capital N, and you can see I have a lowercase n. So this capital N is like n times t, right? So it does the whole thing. So we could... Um, write that in there if we needed to, but so just think n is n times t. So what I'm going to put here is I have 12 times 6. So this is the total number of compoundings for the life of this investment. Um, the interest rate we have is 2.5, and I put 2.5. Notice I did not change it to 0.025. It's a calculator. It knows that it's a percent, so it has stored 2.5% as 0.025. So don't convert it over. Leave it exactly as how, how it was. Present value is 5,000. This is the amount of the investment. We are not going to be making any payments. So payment would be, are we gonna add money to it or subtract money from it, and we're not. We're trying to get the future value. So this is just from the last time I did something. The future value is this. Um, we don't need it. The PY and the CY says payments per year, compoundings per year, they're tied together. So really, when you do one, it'll affect the other. We're not actually making any payments. That's okay, but we do have compoundings, and our compoundings are 12. That's the end. So when I hit 12 in PY, watch when I hit Enter, it immediately changes the compoundings a year also. So both of those things are tied together. So I have my N, big N, which is NT, interest, leave it as a percent, don't change it to your decimal, my present value, zero payments, my PY, my CY, make sure the payment is at the end, and let's go back up to what we don't know. We don't know the future value. So future value is like saying future amount. So you know you can have A in your formula, A is your future value, so future amount. So you want to go to that place, see where it's blinking at the future value, and to make it give us the answer, I'm gonna hit alpha and enter. And it says 58, 08.26486, oh, right? There's our amount. That's the same thing we would have got if we had done our normal way to do it. So let me go to a blank screen to show you. If we had have put in 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.025, so here I'm using the compound, or the com um, compounding formula, sorry, um, divided by 12 to the um, 12 times 6. So this is my compound formula, it gave me 5808.26486. Same thing when I went back to the application. So the application is kind of nice. You just put your information in, it does the formula for you. So I thought, well, let's do two at least. So we've done a couple things. So the next one I put was, hey, this time I'm gonna give you the amount and we are going to figure out what to start at. So notice that it does put a negative. Don't worry about the signs. Um, your future value is positive. Um, it's just saying like it's your value, so it was negative. So let's start with our N. Remember I said N is N times T. So you can do two times three if you want, um, or you can just know that two times three is six. The interest rate I gave this time was 4%. I don't know the present value, let's skip it. Payments, zero. Future value, 10,000. And then the compoundings um, were twice a year. And remember when I switch P, it will switch um, C for me. And then I can go back up to what do I not know? Um, so I don't know the present value. So I'm gonna go to the PV, hit alpha, enter. 
and it says we need to start with $8,879.71. Again, it has that negative. Don't worry about the sign. It's just that difference between our money, their money kind of stuff. Same deal if I had have used our original formula for a compound um, interest, I would have had 10,000 divided by parentheses 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by our compounding to 2 to the power of 2 times 3. So still 8879.71. I just feel like the app is pretty cool. It does it pretty quickly and you're not having to do a lot of work. You don't have to put the exponents in. You're just entering the values that you grab from the problem. So I hope that helps.